kill you.
Round and round. This quest will put me in the ground. You arrived without a sound. Are you a scald? I have never heard poetry shouted in this way. A scald? Oh no, not at all. I am truly looking for honor and have become lost as a result. You're looking for honor here? It's a bit remote. I am the seventh son of a seventh son. I am expected to bring great honor to my family, but everything has been done. My uncles and brothers have all had great victories, or even greater deaths. There's nothing left for me to do. The gods have been deaf to my pleas, but you are here. So you want a great victory from me, or a great death? No! I want to live, and I could not possibly hope to win against you. That is true. But maybe you could lead me to a victory. I can tell by looking at you, you're not a great warrior. You know it too. There's no reason to deny this. I could bring you a chance at honor. An animal of some kind. Something you could handle. Yes, yes. That could work. I could add a few details. Nothing too exaggerated. Skulls do it all the time. So now you're a Skuld. Do not go anywhere. I will only do this once. I will be here. On my honor. Now, win your honor. They are much bigger up close. I do not think I can do this. I do not think I can do this. Come, Alan. Honor calls. You got a few stabs in. How was your first kill? Gods! I have never felt so alive! My Hooger soars on Raven's wings! With this rebirth comes a new name. From this day, you will be called Erland Wolfwhip, Killer of Curse. Oh, it suits me. You know, now that I think about it, I think my story should be told in verse. Farewell, Beast Beta. Hear my name and no fear! Run and hide amongst the trees and pick it here.
The problem. That must be bad. Jammed. Need to get on the other side.
Look like you could handle yourself in a fight. What tiny little child approaches? 
Me? Ah, many apologies. You are no child, simply a frail and fully grown fool. <laughs> Do we know each other? I know you're a weakling. And you? You need only know my impressive scale and flawless build. Why do you speak to me this way? We are flighting. I've consented to nothing yet. Fine. Do you wish to fleet against me? I do. Here's my wager. I'm ready for you now. Have you ever seen muscles as massive as mine? What you make up in muscles, you're lacking in spine. More than strength, I can boast that my features are fair. They seem perfectly placed to give children a scare. You're brilliant! Yes! More! Have you ever met someone so witty and quick? No, you're quite like your arms, just incredibly thick. Brutal! I adore it! <laughs> Wonderful! Rare to find someone with any flighting skin. You deserve every bit of your bet and more. I'll remember some of those insults. Happy to be of service. You there! You look like you could handle yourself in a fight. Hey, Is that you? Hello, friend. Come see my wares. Can I tell people this used to be yours? These are locally sourced. Are you sure there isn't uh, something else you wanted? I have to go. See you soon. of the northern waters make it is rolf yeah we raided with you that one time up on the northern coast i am flattered you remember it was the first time stirbjorn let us raid so far from home and sigurd was sure you took more than your fair share you're still raiding at your age we need to grab what we can before harald has his say across norway but i only plan them now i let others do the heavy work in fact i'm looking for someone to lead my crew I would like to help you out, but I have my own crew now. I did not mean you, but I could use your help choosing a leader. I have picked out a few to be tested. Tested? How? If you want to see someone's true character, test it in battle. <laughs> Show me your picks. My crew is gathered down by the docks. Locals mostly. Even a couple of farmers hungry for excitement. How do they compare to me and Sigurd? There is no comparing. You are building some reputation, Eivor. They are talking about you up and down the coast. Good talk, or bad? Depends on who you talk to. Mostly good. Do not worry about the bad. No, but they should worry about me. <laughs> this is 
my rating through Eivor. But they lack in experience. They make up for in other areas. Together, we will hammer these lumps of meat into men and women of iron. Into raiders. So which from this unlucky lot would lead your crew? See that big brute, Odbjorn? He does not speak much, but he could power a ship by himself. That shield maiden is Ashild the Keen. Her blade is as quick as her wits. And then, there is Thorgils. Rolf! Who is your friend? Keep your head on the fight, or someone will crack it. All right! That one is so thick, he could shatter your shield. But the other men like him. And those are the best of the bunch. So, those three, eh? Yeah? I've handled more. You want to fight them all at once? Why not? Raids are the stuff of chaos itself. They need a test with no rules. Challenge them, but do not damage them. It was hard enough finding this many. Listen up, you sea slugs. This is Eivor Wolfkist, who has killed more men than you will ever meet. Eivor Wolfkist? I have heard of you. This will be great. You want to lead my crew? You must fight Eivor. Best fighter wins. No killing, no maiming. Other than that, no rules. Understand? I am ready! Fight! A raider needs to be ruthless. You have much to learn. Have to fight me first. Maybe you want to sit back down. No, no, I will be fine. And do not worry about me. Worry about yourself. Martin! Thought well. You have a good chance. I would rather have some meat. Did you see what you were looking for? Yes. I did not think Thorgils could do it, but he is thick headed, like his old man. <laughs> Wait. That is your boy, Tiny Thor. He used to barely reach my belly. He has grown, and now he will want to take everything from me. But such is the way of children. Take some silver for your trouble, and a little extra, for cheating you and Sigurd on that raid. Good luck!
Welcome, warrior. Silke Silvertongue offers wonders from across the Nine Worlds. Rare objects. Priceless artifacts. And yet you have put a price on them. Everything has value, wise one. And I ask only a fraction of its worth. What would you say to a piece of Christ's cross? Snakeskin from Ragnar Lothbrok's death pit? These items do not look very impressive. Like this old shoe. That belonged to the first Christian Pope. Or maybe it was a saint. It brings the blessing of their god. They would need it with that shoe. And there's an old leather strap. A shield strap belonging to the hero Sigurthur when he fought the great beast. Yeah, my mother had one embroidered like that. And what about that helmet? That was the helmet Hathden the Black wore when he died in battle. It will protect you and bring good crops. That is a lie. It was the helmet my father Varen wore the night he was killed. Eh? Eivor? I know you now, Silke the Snake. And these are things from my old home. How much silver did Kjotve pay you to betray us? No silver. It was not like that. I was there that night, but I did not fight for Kjotve. I ran! Coward! I should cut you down! No! Loki curse you! Words will not stop me! Your treachery ends here. Please, I never betrayed Farron. All my life, I was frightened and I fled. And when I returned, everyone was gone or dead. And yet you looted our dead. Bartered the ashes of their lives. It was all I could find. I sold nothing for a long time. But the weight grew too heavy and I needed to eat. To survive. This is not living. Without honor, we are worse than beasts. And have no hope of a better life beyond this realm. This world is all I know, and this life all I have left. Would you take that from me? Take anything you want from my shop. Take everything. Just let me live. May the gods grant you better luck than I have seen.
Dimitri Anmarfiskan. Drink it down faster than me. You take the prize. Your silver. Let's see how much you'll risk. Purse a bit light. No matter. Man your horn! Too strong for you. Ég á tröst undir fólk frá gamla bæjunum lastan. 